Welcome to the tutorial for using Paint.net to make Julian Opie style portraits. In my window you can see that I've put the layers window, the colors window and the tools window. You can get those by hitting either F5, F6, F7 or F8 and you'll see them appear one at a time. The next thing we'll do is add a layer and this will be for the hair. We're only going to do the hair for the, the first bit and around the face. Then we're going to do the eyebrows. I'm going to show you how to do the nose and the mouth in the style of the Julian Opie portraits that I've taken from the Best of Blur album. I'll show you that in a moment. Here we are. You can see that Matthew's face here is a bit like the face in the bottom right hand corner with the pink background. That's what we're hoping to achieve without the, without the glasses. So, using the line tool, I'm going to draw around the hair and the face, and we're going to put this and set it to size 5, so it will be a thickish black line, just like the portrait in that video. So I'm going to choose the line tool, I'm going to choose black, and you can see I'm going to go and change the size to 5. Okay, let's begin. So you can see I've made the line rather large, but this doesn't matter because I can bend using the black squares on the line. And then I'm just going to go and flex these round so it matches the outline of the hair. I don't want to go too detailed, but I still want to go and give the shape of the hair. Remember the golden rule. You've got unlimited undos in paint.net. It means you can undo, undo, undo to, until all the way back to the beginning. And make sure you are in the right layer. Do not draw in the background. Make sure your lines join up because you're going to flood fill this with colour in a moment and you don't want the colour to be bleeding into the rest of the picture. So always use the ticks in your layers window, the green ticks in the boxes, to turn your background off and check your lines. Okay, I'm going to start on the face in a moment. I'm just going to show you, I'm going to go into my background and use the colour picker to choose the colour. I don't want something too dark and I don't want something too light, I want something that is just right. So you can see I've used the colour picker and you can see my background layer is coloured blue. Make sure you're in the background when you're, color, when you're choosing the colours. Then I can flood fill, making sure I go into the hair layer and flood fill. Now this may look strange to start with, but we are going to highlight the hair later on. I'm now going to rename this hair and face because I'm going to go and draw the lines using the same size line to draw around the face. Now I'm not totally happy with the shape of the face down here. Let's zoom in and you can see that there's the edge is just off the cheeks slightly and also there's a very sharp angular section on the bottom of the chin. So I'm just going to rub this out. This is important because the shape of the face defines you. If you're doing your own face, it defines the actual person you're doing. The same with the eyes and the same with the shape of the nose and the same with the shape of the mouth. It will become apparent in later sections. So that's the face done and the hair done. I'm now going to go on to the nose and the mouth in a moment, but this is the end of part one.